Hey, it's ya boy drag. Kamusta? So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my preferred loadouts and the complete count pyramid in Codem Season 11. So if you're looking for sweaty composure, then we're going all out this season. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe along the way. By the way, instead of just showing gun clips for my loadouts, I will be instead explaining why, how, and when I use this particular gun. So yeah, here's the loadouts. So for our first loadout, it is going to be our sniper loadout. I'm bad at sniping and I usually just snipe when I'm in the mood. But sometimes when the enemy is just too passive, then I just play for fix with the sniper. Sometimes I use the DLQ, sometimes I use the locus, all depending on my mood. But right now, the vibe goes to the DLQ. But by the way, I'll make sure to show my locus loadout at that tier list part of the video. So for loadout number 9, we are going to be using the Hades. When shots are not hitting and the enemies are mad annoying, then we pull this bad boy out to cure our depression. I use this bad boy to hold angles, other than that, it is definitely the only LMG you can efficiently rush with. Okay, this one, this one you already know the vibe. It's the Garena hit marker galore. Doesn't matter what map it is, when the tilt hits, this is the cure. This one was supposed to be Rose, but the wife takes charge for the best SMG. And that's none other than the PDW. To be honest, I don't use this a lot, but I definitely use this in spawns because of the flexibility and the accuracy. Again, another gun that we don't use often, but when I get tired of using my most used gun, or when the enemy team caught three of them things, then I'll definitely use this one just to prove a point. Yeah. Digra, ooh, I only use this for big maps, and when I can't predict what kind of playstyle my enemies are doing. So basically I use this for passive aggressive plays. Anyway, I'm only using the red dot cuts is giving me R301 vibes for Apex. Definitely if you fear the default one, the Nexus one. Oh ho ho, now these are the guns I use a lot. Now we got this bad boy called the Fafar. Everyone is hating on it because of the fast fire low damage kind of vibe. Not gonna lie, this thing requires a brain and good aim to reach peak efficiency. I use this to rush in maps where players are widely spreaded. This one is best used aggressively. Also, a functioning brain. Now this, I use as my last resort. When everything goes sideways, I pull this bad boy out to put them back at their place. I actually don't go mad aggro with this, I walk a lot with this one. Shame. Now for my favorite gun this season, you'll see me have a clip with this in every video, it's the CX-9. I just fucking sweat with it. By the way, it is not the best version of the CX-9. Anyhow, I use this to grind points to be honest. I'm quite used to the recoil, but I wanted to lessen the effort for consistent range beams. For that one, that explains the grip, okay? No comprende, no comprendo capish. Now for this one, it is my favorite gun in the game, but the CX-9 is really fighting for that spot, bruv. By the way, I prefer the default sights, it's just that I bought this one. And I have to use it, bruh. Come on. I will be taking over from here. Every info that I am about to unleash will be based on normal. Scans. No pay to win bullshit. To start of the list of broken pieces of shit. We're starting with the most broken gun a normal human can't use. Because this requires skill so hard you can't use this. But basically if Hitler was using this gun he definitely would have killed more. If you don't think this is broken then you're probably retarded. This bitch can one burst. One. Burst. That's faster than you in bed by a split second. Only con is the ammo count, and most of you bitches have no aim. The HVK works best with a pay to win skin. Regardless, it's still a broken motherfucker. This works best if you use this like the SKS, but you will definitely be a hardcore bitch. Don't be a pussy and use this like a real sniper. So this is basically the pocket SKS. This can to tap you on the chest. 
wheel if you're lucky and can one tap you in the chest. For a secondary, this thing is better than most guns. The best SMG in the game, basically it's the CPR 2.0, it has AR like range alongside a pretty competitive TTK up close. The best SMG for passive aggressive play, mostly on the aggressive side but still. This one is the better version of the Fennec, as long as you hit your shots it can go head to head. Pretty good range too if you can control the recoil. This one is only lower because you kinda actually need to have leaderboard player kinda skills to make this reach peak efficiency. It has AR like range if you manage to figure it out, alongside a pretty good movement speed alongside a competitive TTK up close. Seriously I'm not even biased about this one bro. Still pretty damn good if you manage to get used with this one. It's more like an AR rather than an SMG but regardless this one is definitely meta. Not much Pato insights on this one but if you do have one this one is definitely good at any scenario. Close, mid, far it doesn't really matter bruh. Easiest gun to use even if you're a fucking bot and definitely one of the best guns to use when you have the right skill. If you can aim like mad aim, oh boy this one is definitely godly. For the best AR, it's the FFAR, guns completely broken as long as you hit those shots. The good old Kileto Buleto Coraminal, it's the Kilo, it is definitely the best AR for rain. The LK24 wasn't really nerfed that bad, so it remains to be one of the best ARs in the game, pros probably just got bored with it. I mean it's so dull to you. The Mirik version deserves to be higher on the list but still the default is crazy if you manage to control the aim shape. No recoil, easy to use, what more could you ask for? Two top potential at the head, definitely an underrated option this season. Basically the lighter version of the LK24, it's crazy. But the guns mentioned earlier are just definitely better bruh. The brand new Chinese meta, definitely meta but one missed bulleto in your pat. Die. The best LMG in the game, use this for 5 games even in pubs and use another LMG and I guarantee you'll realize why it's the best LMG. It's good, even though I don't like it, it's really good. This is the bison of LMGs, an easy gun to use, absolutely no effort with a disgusting amount of TTK in range. Oh I can finally take a break. Most snipers are meta so let's just stick to the fast ones okay? <sighs> This could potentially be S tier bruh. This one too, but nah, not consistent enough up close. This can one shot now, so yeah. 